Hello. I'm sadly, proudly excited to be a part of a very coveted society. What society, you ask? That she came to me as a woman midi. And I was indoctrinated into this society on April 12, 2021 at approximately 6.11 in the morning when a woman told me to leave us alone. A woman for which I've never met in my entire life. My first reaction was to laugh. After that call, I busted out in laughter. I was like, this is funny to me and embarrassing for her. And I thought immediately, this is a great story. And I'm still angry. I didn't record the call, even though I think it's kind of illegal in some states without the other person's permission, because I thought it would have been so funny as like a TikTok sound. Like her just being like, leave us alone. We're happy. Don't talk to us ever again. I'm like, sis, I I haven't talked to this man. Who are you? Who are you guys? I'm so confused. So we're gonna get into this story. Let's throw it back to what this video is about. It's about coming to you as a woman. And I feel like there's usually two ways. One is you think you're in a relationship or you're dating someone and someone's like, yo, I'm messing with your man. I'm effing your man. I'm doing bits and tits and slits with your man. And you're like, no. And the other one is they view you kind of as a side person and they're in a relationship with them or they're talking to someone and they're like, why are you talking messy with my man? I was the second option, but instead of like going after her man, I haven't talked to him in forever. Basically what happened between me and this dude, we've talked for two years. Never in a relationship. Commitment scares me and I don't trust people and I was right not to trust this dude, but we're gonna get into that. I never committed to him. He wanted me to be his girlfriend. I wasn't for it. He moved. I come visit him in his city it doesn't go as planned it's a little weird i come back here that could be a story time we fought on the top of a mountain midway we didn't get to the top it was midway that happened i come back it's kind of like oh we weren't not talking but we were talking he went to come see me again fast forward to around january time he starts talking to this girl he goes to me they're talking i was like okay i was angry i was like why are you ghosting me i had no causation to be upset we weren't together he stopped with her boom 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 but my issue was we were really close friends and i don't have friends and so it hurt more because I was like, I thought I was your best friend. And like before we stopped talking, he was very much, oh, I'm falling in love with you. Because we'd be on the phone for like hours, like we could talk forever, but whatever. Like that was just the vibe we had. Like we were just cool lady. So then he starts going off with her. They start talking. During the entire time they were talking, he was still talking to me. As a friend, he was still flirting though, like here and there. Bob and slew. Then I was being the ugly, desperate, oh, never again, never again. I knew he liked me. He still he still likes me like he likes me i'm a vibe skate i get why she's mad at me but we didn't talk often and then i sent something to him and you know when you ever send something and you know that once you send that thing they'll block you so i sent something because i was like i don't have the strength to block this person so i was like i'm not gonna block him so i'm gonna send him this thing and he's gonna have no excuse but to block me. And then that's what happened. But he didn't really block me. But that's whatever. We haven't talked since then for weeks. Fast forward to last night. I get a call. I'm like, who this? No one cares about me. So I look at the phone and it says the area code for the city he lives in. But it's not his phone number. I'm like, ooh. And I already peeped it. I'm a smart cookie, man. And I was like, I think this is infurious. Infurious? Infurious? Fast and furious? Or so curious? I knew it was something amiss and not abyss of human. So I go check on the WhatsApp because that's like the last place we were talking and I was blocked on there And I was like, okay, one or two things happened She said block her and don't talk to her no more or she went on his phone and blocked me The second thing happened So then I quickly realized she's the one that called me and it's so funny because she called me and she didn't say anything I picked up the phone to the point where after I was like, did I even like answer it or did my headphone cut my headphones down? I was like, did my Bluetooth work? So I pick up the phone and and I'm just like waiting for someone to say something and she doesn't say shit and then fast forward later that night hit the guy let's call him uh he's gonna be uh she's gonna be ew <laughs> so then uh was like why didn't you say hi if someone calls you i'm like if a random number is calling me i don't know who it is you address you speak the fuck up you speak sis she didn't say shit she hung up i was like okay i being me was like okay i think this is who it is so i sent just like a selfie because <laughs> i was like i would be petty like let me send a selfie like if you want to know who I am, this is me. Now, who is this? I said, so who are you? Send me a pic. Pick for fake. Face card is ace, baby. Send me yours. Jack of all spades. Because you tricky. So I was surprised. 
she blocked me. I was like, really? This is stupid. Waste of my time. But I was like, let me see. So I messaged him on a texting app because I'm a smarty because she blocked me on his phone. So I messaged him and I'm like, who is this? Like, who is this though? Like, don't have people calling me, basically. Like, I thought we was cool being a part of, like, not in each other's lives. Fries before guys. Like, I thought that was the vibe. So why is random people calling my motherfucking phone? Like I got some hoes when I don't. I don't like that. I be getting excited and it's nobody. His first thing when he answers the phone is like, you broke up my relationship. I was like, I'm just living life. Living at large, man. It's Aries season. I'm at Aries. You know, I've been working out. My booty's looking fatter. And what of all those priorities has been breaking up your relationship? I haven't talked to this dude in weeks. What do you mean I'm breaking up your relationship? So I was like, what do you mean? I didn't do anything. And he was like, yeah, I know, but like, like now she doesn't want to talk to me. I didn't even do anything and it's all your fault. <laughs> Like, okay, that's what works for you. Is that what makes you feel better? And then we started talking and he just started going in on her. She was just insecure about me, that's what he said. And so she goes through all of our messages and apparently, this is what he tells me, he like steals her his phone, goes all his messages, gets mad, like, you didn't tell me she, you loved her. You loved her. I didn't know you loved her. I just thought you liked her and liked her. Like, I didn't know you loved her. That's what eel sounds like in my head. She was like, I didn't think you loved her. Love her? How? Going through all my messages, like, that's like an invasion of privacy to me. Luckily, this dude is like, I've known you for two years and know nothing about you. And this is why. He spent literally an hour last night talking shit about this girl he's talking to. Hmm. Like, horrible. The last girl he talked to told me shit about her. All the negative shit. I'm like, you seem like that type of person. If you're not on good terms or you're not talking to someone, you tell all their shit to someone. Uh. That's uh. That's not attractive. You can't go in the messages and see me talking about my childhood trauma are talking about anything like i said some booty pics so i was like even if she does come out with that which would be illegal i don't really care because my ass looked cute in every single pic i took but I just can imagine her going through each voice memo, going through each video chat. We send each other videos. So he was just saying like horrible things on the phone. He was like, I can't say that, but he said that. This one was so funny to me. He's like, she sleeps with everyone. She's like basically a porn star, but she don't like one and she's jealous because you save your body and you don't sleep with people i'm like dude why would you tell her that why would you be like yeah the last girl never slept with anybody like that she's only been with certain amount of people you try to flex that on her like that has nothing to do with me mind you you're here on the phone like be angry at me like this is my fault so then he calls me back a little bit later and i answer and he's like why do you sound irritated i'm like dude like you already hurt me in the past because of how you treated me and now you're like trying to like like, blame me for something that's happening wrong in your guys's relationship like i have nothing to do about it and i don't care but he was like basically begging me like if she calls be cool don't say anything mean to her like just tell her that you don't want me anymore because i was like i don't want you so he's like tell her that so she knows that you don't want me because i don't want her to think you want me please just tell her she's beautiful and she's the most perfect amazing woman on earth so she believes in herself again can you tell her that like i love her and i do it like he was just he didn't say those end things but that's what it was giving like please validate my girlfriend for me tell her she is worthy and that you won't steal her from me there's nothing to be stolen there's nothing i want you act like we're in the Miramont. is that even the place you act like we're in the louis vuitton i'm trying to think of a museum that's like if i went to the louvre and i left and i was like you know what i'm gonna come in i'm gonna put on a little suit put on the white gloves slide through the red lines and i'm gonna steal me a pamphlet Yo, I'm stealing me the emerald necklace. I'm stealing me the Mona Lisa. I'm stealing me a statue. I'm not stealing me the toilet paper inside the loop. There's nothing to steal. That happened. That was the entire conversation. I went to bed and then I woke up this morning and I had a missed call on the text app I used and then on my phone and I answered the phone at 6 11 in the morning and it's just like ring ring. Before they call me he's like it's my bad side but men are bad so it's fine. He's like call her man just call her. Yeah just give me your give me your phone. Give me your phone. I'm gonna tell her I'm gonna tell her not to mess with us. I didn't ask to be in this position. Why are you putting me in this position? Why would you mess with this this ugly girl why I'm sorry I'm sorry babe I'm sorry here's my phone here's my phone color I'm scared okay wait give me that shit
Give me it. I'm not calling her. I'm scared. I tried to call her last night, but I hung up because I was scared to say nothing. You say something first. Okay, I'll hand it to you. I know you're scared to grab it because you're scared I'll slap you. Okay. What do you, what do you, what? Sorry, I didn't really raise my voice. Yeah, that's what I fucking got. No, where's your voice? What do you want me to say? Beautiful, perfect, majestic, perfect person, my woman that's gonna have my children that I'm gonna love for the rest of my life. I want you to say that I have something to tell her. That I'm going to talk to her. And I'm gonna end this once and for all. I shall never speak of her again. And if you ever look at a black woman or her ass, it will be the end. Do you really want me to say that? Do you, is that what you really, want, you really want me to say that? You really want me to say that? Just tell her you, you want to talk to me. Stop being stupid. Tell her you want to talk to me. Okay? Tell her you have something to say to me. Okay? And then I'll make you your favorite oatmeal this morning. If you listen to my instructions. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, miss. Okay, sergeant. Whatever you say. Hello, 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 sorry, I'm sorry for waking you up at 6, 11 in the morning, I know you were sleeping, and you're up since 4 in the morning last night because of our bullshit, but I wanted to let you know that EO <laughs> wants a word with you, what do I say, is that, okay, EO, EO wants to speak, EO hates you, EO wants to murder you, EO wants you dead, that's right bae, tell it. Tell her, bae. Okay, she said, she said, okay. She said, okay. She said, it's okay. You can talk. She said, it's okay. She said, just, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. You, it's okay. <laughs> I think she, she said, it's okay. Please talk to her. I'm scared. Please leave us alone. Never talk to us again. You don't have our number. We're switching our number tomorrow. We're happy. Leave us alone. Let us be happy. Let us be peaceful. Let us love life. Why are you ruining our lives? I hate you. Don't ever talk to us again. Yeah, 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 yo. You see how she didn't even say anything? You see how she didn't reply? She's a little bitch, okay? Don't mess with me, okay? If you ever do this again, I'm gonna end you, okay? End her, okay? I'm doing this for our relationship. I'm fighting for us. Have you ever fought for us? Do you see the pain I went through for you? Do you see what I did for you? Sacrifice. Okay, okay, okay. This, okay, I'm adding this, like the app. <laughs> so you guys, I'm so stupid, but I'm adding, I'm gonna add on what I think happened after the combo, okay, as well. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for freaking out, babe, I'm sorry. But like, I just don't like girls like her. Like, I just don't like them like that. So like, I don't like girls that do that. So like, I just want you to know, like, I'm gonna ride or die, like that's how I'm crazy. I'm crazy for you, that's how much I love you. I would do anything, you know? So, like, I want you to know don't ever do that. Don't ever put me in that position again. Because I will throw the bitch next time. I will ring her out and chuck her to the, chuck her, chuck her to the shredder, you know? I'll throw her to, I'll throw her to the dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Got you. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I don't really, yeah, so... Yeah, I think it's cool now. We can just cool out a little and we can just go on with our lives. Like, we learned our lessons from this scenario. So I think that's that's dope. That's always dope. Yeah. I love you, babe. I love you. You fight. Are you crazy? And I fuck with that. <laughs> you know? Like, you go crazy for your man. Like, I fuck with that. Wanna go fuck? Wanna go fuck? Wanna go fuck? Yeah. Zaddy. Let's go. End scene. I hope that was like a really good play. I always wanted to be an actress. I need to do my acting debut more often. I wish I'd go into the details more of like the story because it's so funny. And I don't think I made this super funny, but I can't go into it because I'm a respectful person, believe it or not. And I don't believe in talking about people's business on my platform because I don't think it's fair to them who can't voice, whatever. But they made their business my business. Like, I can understand some part of it and I can only have empathy. Like, I don't blame uh or ew for being, being uh and ew 
Like, I don't blame them. He's like, yeah, she's even ruder than me. She's even, like, meaner than me. I'm like, yo, I'm love and light over here, man. Spirit and flesh. I'm not, like, overly sweet. Like, don't let me... <laughs> I, I, can, I can check somebody, don't let me think that. But I'm not like a mean spirit just to be a mean person. Like, I don't like that. Honestly, for both of them, I feel like they deserve better. Like, I'm not talking about each other. I think they deserve each other. I'm saying in themselves, I really do hope they grow into better people. Like, I'm growing. I've learned a lot through that scenario. I don't like how I acted. I'm embarrassed for things I've done. But at least I'm a 21-year-old that, like, met this dude when I was 19 years old. And he was the first guy. I really connected with besides the dudes that took advantage of me when I was a child that's a whole nother video so like I had a lot more strings attached to this person so it was a lot of things that I had to learn throughout it and I got a lot of hurt throughout the process and it just taught me like people just don't be real like there are real people there are real people but when you have an inkling that you can't trust somebody or be open with someone no there's a reason for that there's a reason I never could divulge my life or talk about myself to him because I knew like if it came to a push he talked to somebody else he would shit talk me I I found some shit about him talking shit about me online because he was ghosting me and I was like, I found some shit. And that's, that was a crazy in me looking for shit. That was a crazy. I've grown since then. But it's like the person that he represented himself as isn't who he is. You can look on him like, oh, I cringe that I let myself act out in a way that does not establish the value and true love I hold for my entire existence. You and uh might one day be ooh and ah. Uh. They'll never be a ha. I'm not ha yet. I'm like a little bit lower on the octave scale, but I will get there. Eo and ah, they could be ooh and ah. And I wish that for them. If they somehow stumble upon this video, do better. I'm trying to do better. I've made mistakes too in this scenario. But please do better for each other, if anything else. If nothing else. Stay together. Y'all, y'all were meant for one another. Thanks for watching.